Okay, so here we have our psychotronic pendulum again. Well, let me see if I can... Well, let me just set this on a stand or something here. Let's see if I can set this someplace. So this is, this is how I charge up the pendulum. I kind of concentrate and let my life energy flow into this, through the glass, into this device. And you can tell when it's charged up because the torsion pendulum will start kind of moving around, kind of relax. Breathe deeply. And I can feel a euphoria inside me when the energy flows. Okay, there. I think it's charged up pretty good. So let's um, take, I have this big ass ferrite rod, and let me just point it at the pendulum. I have it in my hand. Okay. Oh, now it's being attracted to it. Very interesting. It was repelled by it before. Looks like now it's being attracted to it. If you can see the pendulum being attracted to that. Let me see, I think if I was concentrating before, I was able to make it repelled. There. Now it's repelled from this rod. See that? Let's move, bring it over to this side. Seems to be very strongly repelled by it now. Okay. Maybe the energy's wearing down. Okay. Let's concentrate on repelling it. See that? So when I concentrate on repelling it, it's it's got a stronger force away. Okay. Okay. Let's see if I can attract it. I'll concentrate on attracting it. No, oh, it wants to repel now. It's a pretty strong force, too. Anyway, this is, uh, what, 35 uh, millimeters by, like, 200 millimeters or something? Big-ass ferrite rod. Of course, uh, some of the old old time researchers made a connection between uh, psychic energy and uh, materials that are magnetic, and this is definitely a magnetic type material. It's really heavy. Okay, so just thought you might think that was interesting. This is uh, Dr. James, and thanks for watching.